What is up you guys? Kobos Gaming here. Uh, welcome to the channel. I'm a fellow Twitch streamer who sucks at games, but I love to entertain. Um, in today's video, um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up your PS4 with the Elgato and then the Elgato to Streamlabs OBS. And this is gonna be a, a tutorial with H HDMI option only with no chat link. And I'll also do a version with chat link to get that to work for you guys. Uh, but yeah, this is strictly for the Mac, not for Windows, because Windows is pretty simple and easy to do. But Mac, I, I was having a ton of issues with it. And I hope that this video helps you guys get your stream set up very quick and easy. All right, guys. So uh, yeah, this is my channel right here. Make sure you hit that follow on Kobos Gaming if you're watching Twitch. Uh, but yeah, so first steps first, we got to download uh, Game Capture. So we're going to go to Elgato.com. Once you get to Game Capture, you want to go to the right hand corner here. Um, let's do the burger menu. But yeah, we're gonna hit downloads. Once we get to the downloads, here, let's get it. Uh, select your product. Uh, HD60S is what I have, but you can do it for the HD60S Plus on this method as well. Um, everything should be working. We're gonna go to Mac. Once we get to this page, you want to hit the download on the game capture and you want to hit the download on OBS link. Okay, so once you got those two installed, last one is the NDI plugin that you can see here. Um, and I'm gonna leave a link in the uh, description so you can find it easily. You're gonna click the Mac one because this is a video strictly for Mac users, okay? So we're gonna click this and it's gonna download a package. Once you get to the package, just do the normal, uh, just do the, the setup. You shouldn't have any issues here. It should be straight and full, nice straight and forward. Okay guys, so right here is just a simple version of how to set it up. So you're gonna get, when you buy Delgado, um, you're gonna come with a HDMI and a lightning, a lightning USB-C uh, cord. So the way you do it, you set up your PlayStation HDMI. Um, it has to be on the left side of it. Yeah, I believe it's the left side of it. Um, and then the one that comes with it goes across it. This one will hook up to your monitor the HDMI you have will connect to your PlayStation 4. The USB-C link, um, sorry, the lightning port USB-C, this will go straight to your computer, to your Mac uh, or to your iMac, whichever you're using. And this will power the Elgato. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys um, how to set it up with the chat link on your controller to make sure that it's running through the Elgato and then it's registering on your Mac. So for this, you are gonna need three things. First, you're gonna need your headset, and it needs to have a 3.5 milli millimeter jack. And then you're gonna need the chat link. Okay, so I tried to keep this pretty spread out so it wouldn't be too confusing. So you're gonna connect your 3.5 millimeter jack, and you're gonna put it inside the female of the chat link. The chat link has a split here, which goes to the Elgato, and this connects into the 3.5 millimeter jack insert on the left okay and then this chat link will connect to your controller and that's it all right guys so right now you want to set up a setting on playstation so that it can register your elgato so let's go to settings you want to go all the way down the second to the bottom system click that um, once we get to system you want to hit this enable hdcp this is gonna be originally uh, turned on. Uh, nobody explains this, but this will let you watch Netflix, listen to Spotify, all, all that kind of stuff. So when you unplug this, um, it's gonna let you um, stream here because it's saying it's all clear. So this is it right here. And you can see the TV went off because it's not powering right now. And it's also, it wasn't registered here. So that's why I'm unplugging it. This is a troubleshooting that I've figured out works. Okay, so I'm gonna connect this right now and we're gonna see if it shows up. I'm doing this in lifetime so you guys can see any issues that I'm having. We can uh, go through it together. Okay, so it didn't work again. Let's try closing. Let's uh, reset. Okay, capture device not found. Okay, so now you see how you kind of refresh refreshes the page. So we're gonna click this, and it's gonna pick up the PlayStation 4. USB 3 is required for this. Okay, so let's try again. Connect and disconnect. Yeah, I know it's kind of tedious, but just sometimes it's what fixes it. 
Golly, so it's not working again. Okay, so it was working just now, but I'm not sure why it's not picking up, but it's okay. Just gotta be patient with this capture card, man. Okay, so we're gonna... That should be good. So this is connected to the PlayStation. This is connected to the TV. Yep, let me double check. This is connected to the TV, okay. All right, so that should be... Oh, hold on. For some reason, it seems like this side doesn't wanna work with me. But uh, we're gonna connect it to this side. We'll see if it make makes a difference. There we go, guys. See? Sometimes, like, the dumbest things. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just switched my USB port, and for some reason, this one works. The other one doesn't. Okay, so you see how there's no audio here? A lot of you are going to have this issue with the audio not working. So right now, since I have the chat link plugged in, we want to uh, double check the settings. So for chat link, you wanna do PlayStation 4 or Xbox, whatever you're using. I don't think you need the chat link for Xbox. HDMI, you wanna hit analog, so you can work with the chat link. And this is gonna capture your party chat um, and uh, game chat at the same time. Okay, I'm just running 720 HD. Not doing 60 frames just because it lags my stream sometimes. Okay, we got quality on best. We're gonna hit okay here. Okay, so to capture the audio, it has to run through the headphones. So we're gonna go to, on settings, PlayStation, we're gonna hit devices. Once you get to devices, go to audio devices, and then it's gonna automatically be on TV or amplifier. So you wanna hit here, and then let's go to headset. Check this out, magic right here. Now it's capturing audio. You see how it's ready to stream? Nice, so we're good to go here. All right, so once we have this set up, that's step one. So we have the Elgato capture card. I just showed you guys how to do this. Once we get here, let's close this off and then we're gonna have to turn on our OBS link. So let's search OBS link. Okay, so OBS link is turning on right now. There'll be a blue bar or a blue circle right here on the top. So we got the game capture HD60S. That's being registered, but we wanna hit preferences. Here, if you're using analog or the chat link, it's gonna be defaulted to HDMI. So you wanna hit analog instead, okay? If you're not using the chat link, on the game capture setting and the setting, you're gonna put HDMI only, okay? So we're gonna hit 720p. Yeah, we'll do 60 frames. If we push 60. No, we'll, we'll just keep it at 30. This has been working for me. Um, we'll try messing with it in the future. Okay, one more thing right here on audio gain. Um, this, your chat will come really like low whenever you set it up originally, and the game is gonna the game footage is gonna come really low. Like the sound's gonna be horrible. So you wanna turn this up uh, to about six. Or you can turn it up to 8 if you want. But we're going to close this out. So it should be still open. Next step, we're going to set it up on Streamlabs OBS. So right now we got Streamlabs OBS open. Um, we have a device capture capturing the desktop. So you guys should see what I'm seeing right now. So to add your PS4 with audio, after setting up so OBS links, click the add to add a source. You should see NDI source. Unless you have the plugin set up, this will not be working for you. And to check the plugin is working, just go to preferences and you should have a check mark right here. All right, let's click NDI source, add source. Once you do that, my PS4 is already set up here, but I'm gonna do a new one just so you guys see whatever shows up. So it says Kobos link, it's uh, open because OBS link is open right now. Uh, so we are chilling. And just like that, it's added. Okay, so it says that game capture is using it right now, so we're gonna close. 
game capture, just like I said you should do. One second, one second, one second. All right, boys and girls. And now it should be working, I think. Let me, there, searching for signal. The signal has been searched for. You wanna hit transform and you wanna say fit to screen. And that's it, my guys. Y'all should be good to go. But yeah, guys, that should be how you set up your uh, PlayStation 4 to the Elgato and then the Elgato to Streamlabs OBS on a Mac. Uh, I hope that this video was really helpful to you guys. I, bro, I spent four days watching videos over and over all over YouTube. I couldn't find anything that made it seem simple. Uh, there was always some issues that I was running through and I tried to go, I tried to show you guys every issue that I went through um, while I was doing this video. Um, one of the big problem, problems was getting NDI to show up on Streamlabs. Once you get past that, dude, you're, you're set, you're clear. Um, and just a reminder, once you're running uh, OBS Link, close game to capture because it's not gonna let you, it's not gonna register OBS Link on Streamlabs if you have game capture on already. Um, but yeah, guys, that should be the video. Um, let me know if you have any questions, if you have any issues, just leave a comment down below. I'll definitely uh, comment back and try to troubleshoot with you guys and help you out so you can get your stream ready and set. And um, make sure you guys go follow the channel. The Twitch channel is Kobo's Gaming, the same as the uh, YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. It's going to be some highlights from my stream. It's going to be some um, stream setup videos or some tech videos coming up. Um, I really appreciate you guys, the support. I love you guys and I hope to grow this community very soon and very quick so we can all enjoy just some games, some streams, and some vibes. Alright, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.